The Rams offense and their issues on Sunday could be summed up in an old movie title. The longest yard. They couldn't gain a yard. Second and one right here. Look it up at the top. Brandon Cooks and Cooper Cup. Stack route. There's Cooper Cup waiting for the ball. He's open. But Jared Goff gets off the read fast because of this. On the play, DeForest Buckner and Nick Bowes are going to run a stunt. A tackle end game stunt. And right here, Nick Bowser forces Goff to throw this ball early. And he should have come to cup. Instead, he throws an errant throw. On third down and one, you have Robert Woods and Cooper Cup in the slot to the right. Three by one set. Now, Robert Woods is going down the middle of the field, and Cooper Cup is going to run a little pivot route right in the middle. That's where the ball should go to Cooper Cup right now on third and one. But Goff is greedy. He wants to go to Woods, but he's bracketed by the safety over the top and underneath the fender. Now, he gets flushed from the pocket, makes a bad throw to Woods. Now, let's take a look at what happens. Quan Alexander is going to come on the blitz, and he's going to beat the rookie back, Daryl Henderson. Henderson goes to cut him, and Quan stays on his feet. And now Woods can't find him. Goff is flushed from the pocket and makes this errant throw to Robert Woods. On fourth and one, on fourth and one, they run the ball to Daryl Henderson. Robert Woods goes into a stack formation. And the 49ers just caved this in. They caved this in and they can't gain a yard. Right here, Jimmy Ward gets penetration. He gets his arms around Daryl Henderson and he can't gain it. So let's take a look here. Look at number 20. Number 20 is Jimmy Ward. Right here, he's gonna come right in this gap and nobody's gonna block him. Woods misses him and he gets both arms around Henderson and Fred Warner finishes him off. Down on the goal line, early in the game, wasn't any better. This is 7-7 score. On third and one, they run Malcolm Brown right up the middle. And Eric Armstead caves it all in. They can't gain six inches there. Let's take a look at what happens on the play. Robert Woods has got to be able to cut off Armstead. He can't do it right here. Armstead gets in that gap and just caves it all in. Higby caves it all in. Malcolm Brown can't find any daylight. What does McVay do? He goes for it on fourth and one. Same play. There's Malcolm Brown cheating it right here. But here comes the push again by Armstead. Caves it all in. They had no answer for Eric Armstead. Goal line stand by the 49ers. Rams had a chance to go up 14-7. Let's take a look at it. Here's the play. There's Armstead caving in Tyler Higby. There's no hole in the middle there. No room for Malcolm Brown to put that 230-pound frame into the end zone. 49ers stopped him. On the first play of the third quarter, Jared Goff pitches it to Daryl Henderson, and he takes his eyes off the ball. You can see him. Watch his eyes. His eyes are looking at the defense. Right there. Ball bounces off his face mask, and the 49ers recover. First play of the third quarter, Rams defense gets the turnover. Rams 49ers offense would go and capitalize on it. But even at the end of the game here, with two and a half minutes to go in the game, on third and six, Robert Woods is going to come wide open. The 49ers completely blow the coverage. And Jared Goff is stuck on the outside to Cooper Cup, who's covered by Jimmy Ward. But there's Robert Woods wide open. All right, if you're going to go to Cup, complete it to Cup. Errant throw. But even on fourth and sixth, the last play of the game for the Rams, Gerald Everett down at the bottom against Richard Sherman. Everett runs right by Richard Sherman. The 49ers blow this coverage. Plenty of time for Goff to make this throw. He can't complete it. I mean, who knows? If you complete this ball to Everett, maybe it's 2014 game with two minutes and 20 seconds to go chance maybe to get the ball back and win it. Rams were awful in key situations on Sunday. 